Hey everybody, this is Hunter and today I've got an awesome camper for you. It is a no slide unit with one of the most unique front living travel trailer setups, you know, that I have seen in its class. This is a smaller, lighter unit, more entry level, weighing in at 5,240 pounds. Doesn't get much better than this. You know, if you're kind of just getting into camp and you want something nice and light that you can kind of zip in and zip out out of your campgrounds. This is the 2022 Zinger 259 FL. Again, that FL stands for front living. Today's gonna be a shorter video since I don't have to go over, you know, all that much since it doesn't have a slide. It's kind of one of those, you poke your head in, you kind of get what you get. But I'm gonna give you a nice little breakdown, you know, kind of open up the cabinets, show you around this bad boy a little bit in case you're having a hard time seeing them. We do have a couple of these in stock here and available. So if you guys are interested in pricing, my name, number, email, all that stuff is down in the description. Uh, so, you know, I'd love to hear from you. But front living, got a really unique setup here. You got these little bar stools, you know, right here with the accent lighting that you see. You can toggle those, you know, on and off. But one thing that I noticed is you have an absolute ton of counter space, which is super nice. You also surprisingly have more windows than I would think, you know, in something this size where all of that... And then right over here, you know, you have this absolutely massive window. These all open as well, so you can get a nice cross breeze here. Really get that air circulating. So right when you come in, you do get some extra sleeping. This is going to be, you know, kind of your jackknife setup where you can pull up and drop it in a bed. If you're not just sitting up here hanging out, you know, watching a movie. Obviously, this is set up in more of that kind of a theater, seater, theater seating feel. Uh, with that little drop down right there with the cup holders. So pretty cool little setup right here. Again, you could just pull that out and drop that down so you can sleep, you know, one adult, maybe two children. But you get this really nice, you know, front living entertainment section. Uh, this customer did not order it with the TV, but you're more than welcome to. Or, you know, like so many people, you can save the money, go out to Best Buy. But you got space for, you know, just kind of off the top of my head, I would guess probably a 50-inch TV. I mean, this is a large space. You also get your sound bar that comes with that, uh, with sections A and B. That's going to be inside and outside, so you can get some tunes bumping, you know, both ways right there with the click of a button. You're also going to notice it has an aux in and a USB, so you can plug in, you know, your phones, your DVD players, whatever it is, you know, that you're using, uh, you know, to help you, you know, use the TV. Satellite and cable, the appropriate outlets. The same storage on both the left and the right, and I do like how they use the front cap of this camper to give you just a little bit more space. On the outside portion of this tour, you'll notice there's something a little bit different. Usually, on just about 95% of the campers that I've seen, they have the storage which runs underneath. So instead of doing that, they went ahead and put all this up front, and they actually have a pass-through storage in the rear of the camper, which is pretty darn cool. I'll show you that here on the outside portion. But so this runs... You know, just like that, you got three different sections. So you got this, that, and bada bing, bada boom. So pretty neat. Now this camper is also wired for solar, which you'll see indicated right there on that sticker. So if you want, you know, you can plop those, you know, on the camper. On each of the windows, you'll also notice that there are blinds or you have these right here, which is a little bit a little bit of a fancier blind. They did have the nice decor touch right here too. Nothing too fancy, but it definitely makes you know the camper look a lot better. As far as head height for this, I mean I would say you're probably looking at about 6'6 interior head height, you know, if not higher as you go back throughout the camper. But I am six feet tall, you know, I'm not a small guy, I'm not a giant either, but you know, I'm at no risk of bonking my head. So I do love that. Again, we got those bar stools, so if you're watching a movie, you can sit people in that couch. You can also sit right here, enjoy some breakfast, play some cards, just hang out, you know, kick back, watch the movie right there from the uh, stools. All that counter space right here. This is going to be your matching, you know, board for your double uh, stainless steel undermounted bowl with a more of a residential high-rise faucet as well. Plenty of storage here up and above. And this is going to go all the way across.
underneath the sink, you have plenty of storage and some access to your plumbing. And you're also going to have these two pullouts. Oops, sorry. Let me move that stool. You're also going to see you got an outlet right here as well. That's going to be your welcoming packet from Crossroads. That's going to have some of your, you know, your owner man, owner's manuals and things of that nature. You do get your Greystone oven. So if you're not too familiar with campers, Greystone, very well known, well trusted, you know, oven brand. You know, nothing too fancy, but definitely gets the job done. You also have your three stovetop burner uh, with your glass top, which I really enjoy. You also have a hood where you have a light. And you can turn that in to kind of suck out, you know, whatever you're cooking. Maybe you're cooking some bacon or something like that. It just kind of keeps all the smoke circulating, you know, get it the heck out of the camper. Flip around back to the front. I did forget to show you right here, just in front of the door, you do have your control. So, you know, you have your lights, which is going to be your accent lighting. I'll leave those off for now. And then you have your awning. So you do have an automatic awning, you know, right there. I've got it partially put out where you can also see the LED lights. And then you have your water pump, uh, water heaters, which is a very nice feature that even though this is an entry level, it does have some of the higher end finishes. That water heater right there is as good as gold if you guys are camping. Kind of makes that more of that three seasons camper. And also if you ever have a warranty issue, they make it really nice and convenient with the QR code right there. And of course, if you ever purchase a camper, you know, from me here at RV Nation out in Ohio, you know, I'm more than happy to help you as well. Massive storage for a camper this size to the left of the refrigerator. So that is always a perk. Anytime you go camping, never seems to be enough storage. And then you got yourself a 12 volt refrigerator. So you got your freezer portion up top, your refrigerator down there. The nice thing about the 12 volt, if you're not too familiar with them, you know, it will run. Uh, you know, just off the battery. So while you're driving down, you don't have to worry, you know, about turning it off when you go through tunnels like you would with a propane. But more importantly, on a really hot day, these don't heat up. This is more of a camper, you know, more of a refrigerator. Ah, man, I'm fumbling my words. It's been a while since I've made one of these videos, but it's more of a camper that's more suitable for kind of, you know, a longer trip. It'll keep your frozen items frozen instead of soft and your refrigerated items, you know, nice and cool just where you need it. So we're going to control, you know, all your temperature, everything right there. And then in this, they have the pass through, which I know a lot of people, you know, every time I do a video like this, they don't really enjoy the fact that you have to walk on through. I actually love it in this camper. It gives you a nice way to separate that front living, you know, from your bedroom. But more importantly, it gives you a lot more space. You know, for lack of better words, you can actually sit down and do your business without, you know, feeling super tight and scrunched in there like so many campers are, even ones that are much larger than this. It also gives you an abnormally large shower, you know, for an RV, you know, kind of in this size segment. And then you have the fan right there that you can turn on, you know, whether it's steam or stink, whatever you're sucking out of there, you're good to go. A little bit of storage Rooney right there. The door is going to be a slider. So you just move that slide it and you close it up little bit of storage, a lot of counter space for a bathroom. You're also going to find you have an outlet. And then right here, you do have a little bit of additional storage with some access to your plumbing. If you need, it's just held in by a couple screws. You know, you can unplug that and get right to it. And then this bathroom or this bedroom, having that north to south bed really elongates this. So you do have the ability to have, you know, some walk around room, which is really nice. I mean, look how much space you got. You know, I'm six feet, 300 pounds, and I can get around this camper, you know, with relative ease, which is pretty darn nice. Also to the right and to the left, you got these countertops there running down the side, which is, uh, you know, pretty handy. You also have outlets, outlets and USBs, you know, and these windows. Again, you can open these up for the cross breeze. So that is very nice to have. Let's see here. So right there, get underneath there. Got to access some storage.
You got some hanging room right as well. But that about does it for the inside portion of the tour. Again, if you guys have made it this far, if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, it definitely goes, you know, a long way to helping me out. And if you're in the market, I do work for North America's largest dealership in terms of sales. And I think that's just, you know, purely due down to the fact that we are the national price leader. And I'd love to talk to you and see if it's, uh, you know, something we can work around. See if we can get something done. But the 2022 Zinger 259 FL, FL stands for front living. Now I'm going to walk you around the outside. Won't spend too much time here, but show you some things that I do enjoy. First off, you have the power tongue jack, two propane bottles. We're going to hook you up with the battery. You also have your power jacks, which are nice. So just a click of a button, you know, you can extend and retract those. Really nice size awning, which I'll have down in the description of the camper. Uh, you'll see it under specifications. They do have the Lippert steps, which I love, the solid steps. So you can see a little bit more sturdy than those aluminum ones that you just pull out. Dual axles, so that's nice, you know, just for obvious reasons. And you're also going to see they are a little bit more spread out. You got that wide base to those. So that really helps out kind of even out those bumps. The tightly, more tightly compact ones, you know, as you're driving, you'll feel those potholes just a little heavier. So that is nice. You'll always have, you know, three points of contact there down on the ground, you know, keeping things level for you. It's going to be your outside uh, speakers. So zone B. Satellite hookup or cable hookup rather. And then your outlets. And then right here, you got yourself a black tank flush. If you're not familiar with that, that's going to be your black tank, you know, or some people call it your poop tank. Uh, but anyway, it's your waste. But that's basically a sprinkler system, so that way while you're, rain, while you're draining it, you know, you have a way of kind of cleaning that out and circulating. It's a little, spe uh, little sprinkler there up underneath. So like I told you before, there was no storage up in the front. That's because they put it back here, and it actually allows them to make it larger. So check out just how big that is there underneath. You know, really wide, tons of space for a whole bunch of stuff. Plus, it might even relieve a little bit of weight off that hitch weight for you. You know, making driving a little bit more enjoyable. But I do like how they also put the linoleum back here as well. They give it a nice little cleaner finish, you know, which is something that I always enjoy. Come around the back, you got your bumper with the spare tire. These also do come prepped for the observation camera. That would run you $550 installed. But basically that allows you to have a four and a half inch screen. You suction cup onto your windshield. So while you're driving down the road, you know, you can actually see you know, what is going on behind you. I'm not familiar with what this is. Oh, okay, that's your cable and satellite hookup, you know, over here on the rear. The back end of that pass-through storage. City water connection. This is where you're going to plug in your camper as well. It's going to be a 30-amp unit. You do have an outside shower, which is always nice. You know, get hot and cold water. Not too much pressure on those, but, you know, definitely gets the job done. Uh, your potable water will be right there. And then, you know, your different dump tanks, you know, right under on the same side of the same place, which is always nice. But I think that about wraps it up, guys. Again, hope you guys enjoyed this tour. I hope you guys find some value. If you did, if you would consider hitting that like and subscribe button, maybe dropping a comment with something that you guys want me to do next. Uh, I did this purely because I was asked by, uh, you know, a guy named Joel that I'm working with. They really wanted to see, you know, some smaller, more entry-level campers. So I do take what you guys say, you know, into heart. This is what I do for a living. So, you know, anything I can do to help me help you is definitely what I'd like. But, uh, yeah, my name is Hunter. This was the 2022 Zinger 259 FL. Hope you guys have a good one. See ya.